Drama, 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 drama. What the hell is it on YouTube that whenever we get to the month of June, shit blows apart in the YouTube community? And it's not, you know, it's not content creator against content creator, uploader versus uploader. I mean, we got troll wars broken out all over the place. The, the trolls have fractured into three or four different factions and camps out there. And, uh, you know, the silly season begins amongst the uh, content creators. Uh, to wit, today I come home from the gym after working out and I sit down to have a... Uh, have a drink some water and kind of chill out and relax a little bit after an hour workout and what do I see a new video by Jefferson T. Rowe and what is Jeff doing well he's complaining about past history he's complaining about hangouts and the way that the hangouts are run and he's complaining because, you know, I don't keep a proper count on the panel numbers when people are on the uh, side chat. Well, Jeff, let me tell you, brother, you wanted a video response to your video today. It's not something I normally do, but you wanted it, brother, old school way. Well, here it comes. Let me start first by saying this. You know, when we talked about somebody on the side chat last night, frequently people ask me, how's Amanda doing? We don't talk every day. If we exchange one text message every two weeks, that's about the extent of our uh, communications, okay? Hey, how you doing, girl? Hey, how you doing? You know, we're not too good. You know, I'm living in a in a minivan and stuff like that. It's a, you know, it sucks. You know, I hope things get better for you. Yeah, it's in 10 days, the uh, 10 days I finally begin my, uh, my work here. Don passed away, the estate settler. You know, normal kind of shit. No asking for no no eBay or anything like that, and uh, you know so people have a legitimate interest in understanding and just keeping one little finger in the pie to sort of understand what's been going on because, well, that was a big part of all the drama through last uh, summer and uh, fall. And uh, Jeff goes on to describe and talk about how we talked about on my hangout, which was a great hangout, by the way. You know, it's a tribute to the people that take time to come on. I'm honored. New people come on. Usually 10 people sitting on a panel. I'm honored. Okay. And we're going to get to uh, having good manners and understanding why you should have deference to people. Deference, Jeff to people that come on your panel and give them the utmost respect. Not to put myself first as the center spoke of the chat, but to be there and to make sure everybody else is happy and engaging in the conversation. It's what's required to have a decent chat on YouTube these days. So what does that mean? Sometimes I'm not perfect at knowing how many people we have on the panel. Why? Because I have to have two browser windows side by side open, sitting next to each other. On the left side sits the live hangout, and on the right side browser sits the live chat. And I have to adjust those two windows on my screen, because I'm not as technologically savvy as you, Jeff. You know, with all your window and window and window. Okay, so I have to adjust my two screens. And you know, when I adjust them, some of the panel goes off to the left side of the screen. So I don't have a perfect count on how many people are on the panel at every given, in any given time. But if somebody, seen, if somebody comes on the side chat and they seem like they want to engage, like an RV prepper Wayne, send me a link, Rosie, or a, a Jefferson T. Rowe will come in and start engaging the conversation about... Uh, you know, whether Drew should have dropped a dime with the police to, uh, you know, when Amanda was uh, stupidly threatening suicide and all that shit. You know, and you come on the side chat to start engaging that. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Come on on, Jeff. You want to share your two cents worth and come on into the panel? Come on into the panel. Now, if you really wanted to come on and talk about it as opposed to just frittering away on the side chat there, you would hail me down and say, Rosie, I really want to come on the panel and adjust this 
And what would Rosie do? I'd say, you know what? I got Jefferson T. Rowe in the side chat. And Jeff has expressed an interest in coming in and being heard on this subject. Is there anybody that might be willing to drop out of the panel for a little bit here? And you know what? I usually get two or three people to do that. It's called a seamless hangout, Jeff. It's easy. People have manners. They're polite to each other. Okay? They come on to the hangout. They make way when people want to come in. Drew's famous for making way if uh, he counts if we're up to nine or ten people. I'm going to bow out so somebody else can get on. You know, Jeff, it's called not putting yourself at the center spoke of the wheel of the universe when it comes to doing hangouts. Now, the second thing I want to address is you got all deep down into the, you know, whether Drew should have called the uh, cops or not. And then you go, you know, Rosie, it's your responsibility to take care of uh, Amanda. You know what, Jeff? You're out of your mind. You're out of your fucking mind. You know why? Because I made it clear to you and everybody else when Amanda left Chicago, that that would be the last thing that I would be able to do with her, was help her to get out to Chicago and start a job. Well, guess what, Jeff? It didn't pan out. And guess what? Rosie's support went bye-bye, as stated. Now, yes, I gave a little bit of money for propane and a little bit of money at Thanksgiving, but it wasn't no big GoFundMe kind of stuff. You know, it was out of the goodness of my heart for $25 here, $25 there a couple times. Big deal. You know, but then you come on there and say, it's my responsibility after that. When I'm going to tell you this right now, Jeff, you made the biggest screw up of that whole enterprise that happened. You know why? Because the day that she got out of uh, lockup and was on the streets, and we're all sitting, I'm monitoring the chat because I'm not hanging around or in any chat rooms. You know, I wasn't on Amanda's thing for a long time. From, uh, you know, a long period of time, I wasn't on her chats. And then, because, uh, you, you know, being thrown under the bus and stuff. And everybody's want, everybody's saying, you know, man, this is, a, you know, we're on the hangouts. This is a great chance for Amanda to grab this. And maybe this will be the bottom to 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 kick the alcoholism and really get help. And, uh, you know, everybody's agreed. We're not going to send any money or anything like that. Not that anybody asked me to. But you know what? Here comes Jefferson T. Rowe. You know, run, coming in. Do, 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 Jeff on horseback with the standards of the U.S. Cavalry to save the day. And Jefferson T. Rowe sends $20 to Amanda like he's presenting the prize pig at the country fair to her. And then comes in and makes sure everybody knows about the $20 deed that saved the day, that saved the life. Well, you know what, Jeff? At that point in time, my friend, the responsibility for her life was squarely on your shoulders. Because you're the one at that point in time that chose to make that command decision to pivot at that point and continue the, uh, to, the support because Amanda needed some cigarettes and, uh, and some beers, you know. And there's Jeff T. Rowe, it's front and center, you know. And you know what, Jeff? You took a raft of shit about that. You know what? If we took a vote today and took a poll, 95% of the people would say, you screwed up at that time, just like people would say you screwed up getting involved with the early GoFundMe, Rosie, without really knowing Amanda and all her problems. Guilty! Stood up, took my hits, take the troll hits, do all that kind of stuff, because stupidity has a price, and I paid the price. But you know what, Jeff? You just skittered off, you know, because that's Jeff, you know, Jeff, you know, you know, that's, that's Jeff. That's just the Jeff being Jeff. So I'm saying when you want to talk about my hangouts and then you started getting into Marshall and stuff, well, you can't have it both ways. You got to either have Drew or you got to have Marshall. Bullshit. I can have it my way, uh, you know what I mean, Jeff, because it's my hangout. I can have it my way. I can tell, I can be, I can be polite to my panel and say, how do you guys feel at several points of the night? I put it out there, and the feedback, they're not going to be rude people. Oh, you know, I'm not crazy about Ellie's like, there's no fucking way in God's green acres 
he's going to be on. Well, that's pretty clear to me. Does that mean I make a choice at that time between Ellie and Marshall? No. I think to myself, you know, Ellie's here. She's my friend. She's consistently on the panel. Marshall's a consistent troublemaker on the side. Yeah, he's good for a few laughs. And, uh, you know, yeah, yes, we've met. But, uh, you know, his behavior hasn't been good. But over the last five weeks or so, it's improved to the point where we talked a little bit. Can I come on a panel? I just float a trial balloon out there, Jeff. It's not all about Rosie that I'm going to say, Drew, you leave now because you have, you have Marshall Blocker. Ellie, uh, you got to leave now. I like you, but, you know, I like Marshall more this minute. I don't do that stupid bullshit. I can have it both ways. I can decide to host a Class B hangout for Marshall, which I may very well do just to talk about Class Bs because I want to get one myself. Doesn't mean I have to fuck up my chat that night like you're giving me some Hobbesian choice to make here. Bullshit. So you wanted your video response to last night's hangout, which absolutely stunned me, your video. Just absolutely floored me this afternoon. To think that so many people could see a chat that goes nicely and everybody's having a good time and getting along great. New people are coming on, new people are leaving, they're happy, they had a good entree. And then I have to wake up the next day in the afternoon when getting home from work and then see that. Okay, so you wanted to see your video response, Jeff. Well, there it is. So it's not something I normally do, but, uh, you know, you want to talk about stuff and that. There's my view of how, how the past was. And there's my view about who has responsibility now and how Hangouts should be run, in my opinion. You know, Jeff, I don't agree with you having all your various troll names, you know, Bojangles and uh, Billy Crackhead. I don't know why you have them. I don't know why people have multiple accounts and stuff. I don't know. But I don't come out and, and, uh, and make a video and say, what a dumbass thing to have. You know, just come on and be yourself because I don't tell you how to run your life. I don't tell you how to run your hangouts. You do it your way like I do it mine. Have a good day, everybody.